Founded in 1988 as one of the medical royal colleges of the United Kingdom, the Royal College of Ophthalmologists is now celebrating its 30th year of operation. To mark the occasion, the journal I has published a special edition comprising a series of review articles written by top experts in the field. The issue highlights the past 30 years of progress that's been made in our understanding of age-related macular degeneration and glaucoma. It also features articles exploring how advances in retinal imaging have helped propel breakthroughs in other disease areas, such as multiple sclerosis. AMD is examined from the level of genetic predisposition to that of active and preventive therapy. The past decade has witnessed the discovery of genetic variations in complement factor H that confer an increased risk for AMD, as well as the identification of 52 common and rare gene variants linked to the disease. Articles discussing these advances highlight the need for further research into genotype-phenotype correlations to support the eventual goal of genetic testing. Perhaps the most revolutionary advance in AMD therapy is the introduction of intravitreal injections of antivascular endothelial growth factor. The availability of this treatment has caused the medical retina subspecialty of the college to flourish, leading to significant progress in the diagnosis and treatment of neovascular AMD and macular edema due to retinal vascular disease. Moreover, several preventive therapies for eyes with intermediate AMD have been explored over the past three decades. The issue addressed these topics through comprehensive reviews on the well-known AREDS trial, as well as on headway gained in laser technology and retinal regeneration. Glaucoma research has also flourished over the past 30 years. The issue includes articles describing the many tonometers that have emerged over the years and the important differences between them. New imaging technologies have also provided knowledge of the structural changes caused by different types of glaucoma, including normal tension glaucoma. Reviews of these aspects of the disease highlight the need for better characterization of patients with this phenotypically heterogeneous condition. Although the issue touches on a variety of different topics, a common theme is that the future looks bright. When reflecting on the significant advances that have been made in the field, it becomes clear that we are reaching a level of understanding that will soon enable state-of-the-art personalized disease management for diseases both within and outside of the realm of ophthalmology.